South African bearings and wear parts manufacturer Veskanite Bearings produces a low friction, high temperature material, high temp 160, that is able to operate up to 200 degrees Celsius, depending on the application. Veskanite technical representative Philip de Villiers explains that this innovative material is set to redefine the possibilities of pump applications in extreme temperature environments. So the added advantage of using that material is to really increase the temperature range that it can operate in. Um, so high temp 160, you're looking at anywhere up to 200 degrees Celsius, um, depending if it's clean water or if there's certain chemicals, but we uh, will look at the applications with you and decide on whether it's suitable or not. De Villiers emphasizes that the material can withstand high pressure steam encountered in various industrial processes. The boiling point of water is roughly at 100 degrees Celsius, so you can imagine very high pressurized steam that it's actually in contact with. Um, and that's quite unheard of for polymer bearing material. Um, so for us, it's a really a good achievement to produce something to that effect. Meanwhile, Veskanite's High Temp 160 has received certification from the UK's Water Regulations Approval Scheme, or WRAS. This prestigious certification holds great significance particularly for original equipment manufacturers in the drinking water sector. So a lot of the OEMs overseas need that specification because a lot of the pumps are going towards drinking water. Um, so RAS is a UK certification, the most popular and well-known in Europe. And for that reason, our material can be used in any drinking water applications. So it's a really well-needed application for us um, because it's supplying so many people with drinking water. Veskanite's global footprint enables the company to reshape the landscape of high temperature pump applications and its commitment to innovation ensures a reliable and efficient future for pumping systems operating under extreme conditions.